Joe, why don't we begin with the latest on North Carolina Senate race? Yes, yeah, so a poll came out this week, the John Locke Foundation Civitas poll, a survey of North Carolinians looking at a number of issues, including the U.S. Senate race. Interestingly enough, it shows it more or less to be a dead heat between Ted Budd and Jerry Beasley. Uh, interestingly enough, Budd, though, no longer holds the lead among unaffiliated voters. He's gone from a plus six to a negative eight, which is probably some indication of the overall political landscape of the state. And we see in the generic ballot in this poll, Relatively speaking, Republicans doing slightly better than Democrats when voters are asked the question, irrespective of the candidate, who do you plan to vote for, the Democrat or the Republican? And this is really reflective of another poll that came out this week, the Washington Times ABC News poll that showed. Washington Post. No, I'm sorry, Washington sorry. Post uh, ABC poll showed similarly the generic ballot uh, with Democrats with a slight advantage. Interestingly enough, this is the thing I think is most telling in this election cycle. When asked the question, how motivated are you to turn out and vote in this election, Democrats report three. Three and four of them highly motivated, but eight and ten Republicans are highly motivated. And that may be the key issue as we head into the final weeks of this election. Which of the two parties can keep their voters most enthusiastic and excited about actually turning out? Now, the numbers, the generic ballot and other factors earlier in the election cycle showed a pretty significant favor uh, toward the Republicans, uh, leading us all to believe it was going to be a big red wave. I think at this point, maybe because of the issue of Roe versus Wade being overturned, Democrats have become slightly more engaged. But another factor in the Washington Post, ABC News Times, right. uh, ABC uh, News poll is that Democrats are not doing as well among non-white voters as they did in the last midterm election in 2018.